crypto mining using microcontrollers. Wait, what? Are you serious? How? Believe it or not, the rig you see on screen actually mines a cryptocurrency called Duino Coin or Duco. The total cost of this rig is only $35. Now, if you believe me, then grab yourself a cup of coffee, sit back and watch this video and start your journey into cryptocurrency with Duino Coin. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume, colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can order advanced PCBs, aluminum PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need at the greatest extent. Duino Coin was developed by a team of young developers in 2019 focusing on energy efficient mining and is a fun for project. It mostly but not only dedicated to people who are just starting out in the crypto world and it doesn't require any expensive hardware. Duco is transparent, open source, centralized, eco-friendly coin that focuses on mining with low power devices like Arduino. Duco tries to achieve a rewarding system using Kolka, a name derived from Coca-Cola making the low power devices like Arduino earn almost the same or even more than a powerful device like CPU or GPU. It also prevents people from building huge mining farms by preventing additional miners to earn a little bit less from the previous one. Duco is centralized and has an infinite supply and hence you can mine this coin forever. You can mine Duco using Android smartphone, computer CPU, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi or Banana Pi, ESP8266 or ESP32, internet browser on your PC or smart TV, Arduino using ESP8266 as a host, Arduino using Raspberry Pi as a host. To start your journey, have a look at the Getting Started with Duco Coins webpage, then create a wallet to store your coins. Next, download the minor binaries for the device you are going to mine the coin. If you are super tech savvy, then have a look at the coins white papers, the link is in the description below. In my setup, I am mining Duco using Node MCU. The setup is very simple. In my setup, I have added an extra LED to give my board a bit of sci-fi look. Mining with ESP boards allows you to mine headlessly. You don't need to have them connected to a computer as they have their own Wi-Fi capabilities to connect to the server. Now let's have a look at the board. You can hook up 5 Node MCUs to this board. Each Node MCU has its own flashing LED. The board can be powered using just 5 volts using a USB cable. So this is how the Node MCU Duco Coin Miner Blade looks like in 3D. Once I had my design ready, I just had to upload the Gerber file to the PCBWay's website and then select the type color and any other customization that I want and then just send it for fabrication. For my project, I chose the black color. PCB was ships from China to most of the countries of the world within 3 to 7 business days. Talking about the quality, it's absolutely mind blowing. Let's start by soldering all the small components to the board. I first soldered all the LEDs and the resistances to the board. Since I care a lot about my sensors and microcontrollers, I am not going to solder them directly to the board. Instead, I am soldering female pin headers to the board which will house the node MCUs in them. Finally, I soldered a USB cable to power this blade. I extracted this cable from a broken iPhone's charger. I downloaded the code from the Duino Coins website. The current version is 3.0. I downloaded the Windows version and then added my code block to make the blue LED flash on my blade. In the code, you just need to edit few lines in the top section to add your Wi-Fi details and the name of the Node MCU. If you are using ESP8266 board, you can set the clock speed to 160 MHz to achieve a better hash rate. Then just go ahead and upload the code one by one to all your Node MCUs. Before adding the Node MCU to your rig, it is a good idea to check it using the Arduino serial monitor. Set the baud rate to 500,000 baud and see how the ESP performs. If everything is correct, you should see message saying the shares are getting accepted. If it all works fine, your ESP will mine as long as there is power and internet connection. So this is how my final setup looks like. To be very frank, the setup actually looks like having a small Christmas tree on my table. Mining Duco at this stage is not very profitable. However, I just wanted to share the hash rate table with you guys. Remember, Kolka will play an essential role as you keep on adding new devices to your rig. So the hash rate you will get may not be same as what you see on screen. You can also claim Duco via web faucets. I have seen many faucets coming in and completely disappearing. So the links provided in the video may not be valid when you try to access them. 
The first one in the list is faucet.dunocoin.com. You can claim one duco from this website by solving a captcha to start your journey. Remember, you can only claim once from this website. The next one is furim.xyz. Again, you just need to solve a captcha to earn some duco. The third one in the list is duco faucetpcgeekpl Same as the other two, you can claim some duco every 15 minutes by solving a captcha on this website. After mining some Duno coin, you may want to exchange them to some other currency. To exchange your coin, simply visit the website and select the currency you want to exchange. At the moment of writing this tutorial, Duco Exchange supports XMG, BCH, TRX, BYND and Like coin. After deciding which coin you want to exchange, simply fill in the exchange form and wait for the exchange to happen. It may take up to 72 hours. You'll shortly receive an email confirming the process and describing any further steps if needed. Other exchanges supporting Duno coin are Node-S, PancakeSwap, SunSwap and SushiSwap. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.